What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. Hey, man, I heard we might be getting a uh, Boots versus uh, Keith Thurman, I, possibly on the uh, Earl Spence undercard or something like that. Uh, I was here, man. Uh, I'll be honest with you, that is a great fight. That's damn near uh, just as good as Keith Thurman. I'm going to say it's Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Uh, I would favor Boots in that fight, but I would say this. You know, Keith Thurman is a... Uh, is a good boxer and a good mover with power. I will, I'll be very interested to see how Boots handle a guy that's moving around the ring that can actually hit. You know, uh, that guy that he was in the ring with last time didn't look like he had a lot of pop on his punches. Uh, but he was catching Boots flush a lot. And I'm quite sure Keith Thurman saw that. And Keith Thurman know he got great uh, movement. But Keith can box good and bang off that movement. Uh, now, I think, I felt like Boots did good as far as somewhat keeping a guy in front of him to the best of his ability. I, in the early rounds, it seemed like he, he followed him more than he cut the ring off. I think around the seventh, around the eighth, ninth round, he started uh, thinking about it and, and start cutting the ring off some and uh, was having a lot more success uh, with his big shots. And I would like to see that. I really would like to see how him and Keith would uh how Keith would fight Boots and how Boots would handle uh Keith big shots uh cause I don't see him going twelve rounds or uh, being in a big fight and not catching a few big punches from Keith Thurman you know uh and me seeing and Keith Thurman always said he wasn't gonna be no gatekeeper but at this point that's damn near all he can be if if he come back or he gonna have to really come out here and make a statement and fighting and. If he if he was to win a fight against Boots, that'd be a big statement he'd be making, letting people know that he still keep one time Thurman. Uh, I don't think it, I just don't see it. You know, uh, I would like to see Keith be back. Keith, I really would. Uh, I hate that he uh, just kind of jagged his career off like he did. I mean, I mean, you know, he was he had a good momentum going, and he just it's like he just let it all go for whatever reason, man. Uh, but I don't think he forgot how to fight, you know, and uh, the last time I looked at him, like, he was in pretty good shape to me, you know, uh, now, Boots is going to be a difficult fight <clears throat> for anybody in that division, Boots is going to be a difficult fight because of his speed and his height and his length uh, and his ability to fight from either southpaw or orthodox stands, he's going to be a lot, he'll be a lot for Keith to handle, but Keith got the experience against great fighters, you know, uh, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, he's fought a much better competition and won, you know, he lost to Manny Pacquiao, but in a sense, I think he just came out, came out, got caught cold in the, early in the fight and, and you know, uh, just got, got too far behind early and couldn't dig his way all the way out there to hold, he lost by split decision, which let you know he was in the fight, you know, uh, but, I do real. I do see. I do see him. If him and Boots fight, that that's a, that's a good one. I thought Boots was gonna fight Stanley Onis, so we'll see who who he actually gonna be in the ring with. But what it looked like is whoever he fight next gonna be a real gonna be probably the the, uh, the biggest test of his career up to this point. And if it's Keith Thurman, that's 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 that you know. That's damn near headliner, you know. Uh, you know that's that's a that's a that's an excellent fight right there. You know, uh, that's a big fight with a lot of risk on both sides. Keith can't afford to lose, and Boots don't need to lose at this point right now in his career. So they both gonna be going in there fighting hard if that if we get that fight. So hopefully it ain't just a rumor and it's actually something real that's in the making, and we possibly get. That fight and maybe even uh, Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford look like we're going to get a lot of big fights this summer. We'll see. We'll f I, I believe when Tank and uh, Ryan Garcia fight, it's going to be, I, I'm sure it's going to probably be a big announcement at that fight. So hopefully uh, we got two big fights, two big fights in the welterweight division on the rise. I truly hope we get them. You know, uh, that we deserve to see those fights like that. And that's those are the fights that 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 the fighters need to be getting. We need to see who really who in the welterweight division, and if Boost is the guy to take over, and a dominant victory against Keith Thurman would be a good way to show it. 
But at the same time, if Keith could knock Boots out or somehow win a, a decisive victory over Boots, that would be a big statement in him coming back in the welterweight division if his career, if his, if he's still serious about his boxing career. But uh, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.